AZ Audibles on the road. Jordan Ham, Eric Sorensen here at Paradise Valley High School with head coach Greg Davis. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. So you were a, a very vocal in, in the Red for Ed movement, um, what was happening recently down at the Capitol. Just why do you think that was such a powerful movement for so many teachers across the state? Well, for me personally, I have uh, three daughters that are um, in school right now. And, and so, you know, as a dad, I want to see them have the opportunities to be successful and find what they're interested in. And, um, you know, I really want them to have the best teachers possible, you know, and, you know, I know personally, I, I do uh, as much as I can do for, for young men and young women in my classroom and on the field. And, um, you know, right now, the education movement is really just to create opportunities and keep good teachers in the classroom. And so uh, I think our voice was, was heard, you know, and, and it is being heard right now. You've always, Coach, preached togetherness, family, teamwork. You're not only the head baseball coach, but also the head football coach here. How has the Red for Ed movement sort of even further preached your message to both not only the football team, but the baseball team as well? And have some of the kids sort of asked you about sort of kind of taking to have you take them inside the Red for Ed movement? Yeah, I mean, our big thing is character, discipline, toughness, academic excellence, uh, the family part of it, it goes right along with all of those things. And, um, you know, ultimately we want our guys fighting for what's right. And um, if it's something that's powerful enough to make them want to stand up for something, we encourage that, you know. And so ultimately it's fighting for them. You know, we want, we want more funds in the classroom to be able to uh, allow them to have opportunities to be successful so um, it's been a great thing you know um, it's been a lot of encouragement from our from our players for sure obviously there's been a lot of momentum the past few weeks with this movement but what's next for the red for ed movement it's not over by any means I think uh, public education uh, deserves the funding that's going to make opportunities there for our students um, for athletics for the classroom um, you know, we all had opportunities when we were younger, um, and those opportunities have kind of s slid away, whether it be cutting of PE classes or music classes or, you know, just opportunities not being there to find what young men and women are good at. And so um, right now, I think it's just c continuing what we've started. Let's transition from the classroom now onto the football field. Last year, PV, sort of an up and down year, and you lose some key seniors, Xavier Watkins, um, Brick Hudnut, Max Seifer. What have you seen so far this spring from the 2018 PV version on the field? I'll tell you what, you know, two years ago um, with the situation we had, we had 10, 10 freshmen that had to start, you know, and, and those those freshmen are now going to be juniors for us. Um, the, two, the class of 2020 is definitely um, a class that we have a lot of our athletes, a lot of our starters coming back from. Um, I'm excited because the day that we got done with that season, these guys have been in the weight room working hard. We're excited. I, I know we miss some key seniors for sure, but um, you know we move on and, and we have a lot of good starters coming back for us. There you have it, AZ Audibles on the road at Paradise Valley High School with head football and baseball coach Greg Davis. Coach, thanks so much. Thanks for having me on.